Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor, and today I'm going to talk about how to get regular mail to an inmate who is housed in a Maricopa County jail system. Now, this is regular mail, not legal mail. Legal mail is sent by the attorney, stamped legal mail, and it gets in there in a different fashion. Do not try and send mail if you're not a lawyer and market legal mail. That's a big no-no and you can get in a lot, lot of trouble. Now, if you're sending something to an inmate, it has to be on a postcard. They don't accept envelopes. Uh, the minimum size is three and a half inches by 4.25 inches. Maximum is 4.25 by 6 inches. That's about a standard postcard. You must write on it in blue or black ink only. No other colors. No stickers, lipsticks, markers. Uh, no nudity, no gang references. Why do they do all that? They don't want the inmate getting high off the ink. Uh, they also don't want anything inappropriate. Um, beware, the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office will read the postcard first. So they're gonna look to see if there's any weird codes or something inappropriate being done or any threats to other people inside the jail. Now, if you're sending newspapers, magazines, or books to an inmate, they have to be purchased through the publisher. You can't just buy them at home and mail them in a big envelope. So you gotta go through the publisher and give them the address of the individual jail you want it mailed to. Now, if you go to our website, dmcantor.com, we have the address of each and every jail uh, listed along with the zip code, et cetera. And that'll give you a lot of information. No pornography, they won't accept it. No hardcover books, it has to be a paperback. They perceive the hardcovers as a threat, so it's gotta be a paperback. An inmate can possess only three books, five magazines, and one newspaper at a time. So if you send more than that, they're just going to throw them away. Also, if you've mailed something and two days later you're mailing more, make sure you gave the inmate enough time to read what you already said. Um, in regard to photographs, a lot of people like to send photographs of family gatherings, Christmas, etc. That's okay. You can send up to five photographs at one time. That can be sent in an envelope, but you have to write photos on the, on the envelope. And then the jail will open up the envelope, read make sure there's no contraband, and they will give the photos separately to the inmate. You have to write on the back of the photographs the inmate's full name uh, and his booking number. In regards to the size of the photos, they can only be a four by sixes. They can't be bigger than that. Um, you can either mail them or you can actually go to the individual jail and drop it off directly to the, uh, in the lobby to the sheriff's officer. Now, if you have any questions, call this the SIMS line, that Sheriff's Information Management System line at 602-876-0322 or you can call the individual jails. Again, that's all on our website. Um, this information is all current as, the, as of the making of this video. So again, it's always good to check and call in. Now, if your loved one is in jail, but they haven't been convicted yet, they're in the pretrial phase, give us a call at 602-307-0808 or go to dmcanner.com and fill out a contact us form. You can set a free 30-minute consultation in our office, doesn't cost you a dime, but we'll sit down in the privacy of our office for 30 minutes and go over the case from top to bottom to see what we can do to help get them out of this. If they've already pled guilty but haven't been sentenced, again, call us. Maybe we can get a reduced sentence on the range. And lastly, if they've been uh, sentenced convicted and sentenced, still give us a call. We do appeals, post-conviction relief petitions, and also sentence modifications. Well, maybe we can get the sentence reduced or get the whole case thrown out on a technicality. Um, good luck with sending your loved ones some mail, and give us a call. We look forward to hearing from you soon. Take care.